Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing my week three of 2019 in my bullet journal. I did a pretty different spread than I have ever done in the past this week. And I actually found it while I was on Instagram and this is totally 100% inspired by Shaylara underscore Shen. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I will drop her handle in the description below, but this spread is inspired by her. I just saw hers and I was like, ah, oh, I gotta try that. Because last week I did a Dutch door theme and it was wonderful, but it was just a lot of time that was put into it. It takes, I don't know, about two hours to set up that Dutch door theme. And then it probably takes another half an hour a night for me to sit and journal and fill everything in. And this week we are preparing to leave out of town this weekend. So while I did have decent size to-do lists, I just didn't want to overcrowd my schedule with journaling and things like that. So um, I kept it pretty simple, although this still did take me about 45 minutes to set this spread up. Um, that includes all the decorations, and I did add some quotes in here. Before we get too deep into this, guys, I do want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, hit the like button on this video. It helps me tremendously. And also hit that little notification bell to get notified when I put out new videos. My February video will be out this Sunday. We will be out of town, so I've actually already done it. Yes, I know it's early, but I just thought I would get it done so that I wasn't trying to cram it all into the very end of the month because I still have to make my February printable kit for my shop as well. So I already did my plan with me video. It'll be out on Sunday, and if you hit the bell, you will be notified when it comes out. Um, I did a big poll on Instagram on what theme um, I should do for February and so you'll just kind of have to wait and see what it is. I'm really excited about this one actually. Um, so as far as this spread goes, the way it's laid out is they are vertical, fairly narrow columns. So there isn't a whole lot of writing room here, but I had enough room to add extra, so like notes and goals. The way that the girl who I was inspired by did hers was that she only had oh four total columns per page so two at the top and two at the bottom which didn't leave me enough for like goals and notes and things so I just made mine three wide plus I'm in a Nuna which does allow me a little bit more room um, horizontally and then on the sides are these really fun just vertical bars where you can just kind of design whatever you could turn it into like a washi theme or add a pattern I chose to add some quotes to mine um, this week was the first quarter of the moon phase and um, if you guys aren't big into moon that's okay but I am and so the first quarter typically symbolizes some obstacles and a little bit of struggle and resistance and I find that I am very in sync with these cycles so when it is first quarter that's where I do start to like struggle with my health goals and my career goals and things like that and I just I get these mental blocks so um, I did this kind of moon I don't know gypsy horoscope vibey <laughs> theme here and uh, I just went with a couple colors I did purples and greens and some very simple fonts I was trying to get this done in a decent amount of time just because the previous week had taken so long to set up that I just didn't really want to just sit and make another weekly spread that I knew that I was just going to fly through in the evening and then again in the morning to go through my to-do lists um, with what extra space I do have in these columns, I do like to use it for writing down some quick memories of the day um, or things that were good and gratitude, although I do have gratitude pages for January. It's just, I, you can't have enough gratitude. So if you have extra room in your weekly spreads, I encourage you to use that extra room to write in something that made you really happy that day or write in your win for the day. Even if your win is just simply, I got out of bed today and I brushed my teeth. I got out of bed today and I ate breakfast or 
whatever that small victory is, when you write it on paper, it just really seals it in there and it's concrete and you can see it and you can read it and you can read it every day and you can say, yesterday I got out of bed and I brushed my teeth. So today I'm going to get out of bed, I'm going to brush my teeth, and I'm going to put on pants. And if that's too much, that's okay. But I do encourage you to use that space wisely. Um, you don't have to follow rules with the bullet journal system. It is totally up to you. So if you want to use that space to write in an inspirational quote every day or something that uplifts you, um, I highly encourage you to do that. I have found that the number one thing that bullet journaling has helped me do is just be a more positive person, a more organized person, but for the most part just a better person in general. I'm confident in myself. I can see that I'm making progress in certain areas. I can remind myself that it's a positive thing to take self-care days and to go take that bath. It's okay. The work will be there tomorrow and it can wait. So I encourage you to do the same, and that's kind of what this spread is all about. Um, the quotes that I added on here, you're going to see, I think they're one of the last things that I did. We acquire the strength, we overcome. Now, I left a word out of that. I pulled that from Pinterest, and so, of course, it's wrong. It wouldn't be mine if it wasn't wrong. I swear I mess up every quote that I've ever put on YouTube in my journal. Every single one. So anyways, um, it's supposed to be, we acquire the strength we have overcome, and that's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And then the second quote that I used was, you always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself, which is from Gilda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. And just a little fact, I don't really like The Wizard of Oz. There is something about it that just, it freaks me out. It always has. Um, but I love The Good Witch. She, if I had to pick like one character from the movie that I really like, it's her. And I just love that quote. It's just affirming that we all see these flaws in ourselves, and we always pick apart our worst qualities and we think that we can't do it. But Deep down inside, we all have these abilities to do amazing things and be amazing people. And so it's just learning that about yourself and being able to finally see it and push past these societal ideas of perfection and finding what makes you special and what makes you so different and unique. And those are those are your powers. Those are your superpowers. So um in this, I'm choosing to embrace those and what makes me weird and when I prefer to stay at home all by myself and dance to Return of the Mac on Alexa seven times in a row, that that's part of who I am and it makes my children smile. It makes me smile and that's what matters. And now Alexa is talking to me because she heard me say her name. I also want to mention what the box on the lower left-hand page is. Um, I had a couple questions about it when I posted this spread to Instagram, and they just look like lines and dots, and they are actually moon glyphs, and from top to bottom, they read earth, fire, and water, and I don't really have a reason for doing it. I needed something to doodle there, and they were simple, and they went with this whole horoscope light magic um, kind of thing that I was going for. So that's just kind of where they ended up. And then the box right next to that, that is on the right hand page, is the constellation for Capricorn because I am a Capricorn. I was born January 3rd. So I just decided to add that as well because it just kind of, like I said, went with the theme. Um, and I just needed to take up that space because I couldn't really think of two other sections that I really needed this week. Um, what I sometimes add to my weeklies are things like workout logs or workout planners. And then often I've been adding meal planners to my weekly, but I haven't been doing that lately because I set up a spread for Veganuary because I went vegan at the beginning of the year. And in that monthly spread, I list out what foods I plan to eat. And I just do it the day before. So that's kind of my meal planner. 
and then I adjust whatever our dinner is to fit my husband and the kids and myself. So usually it's something that the meat is taken out of and then we can he can have meat um, with the kids and then I can do tofu or just leave it without. So this is what the spread looks like, all filled up with decoration and doodles if you are thinking about recreating it. Again, imagine it as your own so you can pull all those doodles out of those boxes that you see and then you could fill them with your own. I thought that like a pattern or some sort of zen tangle would look really cool in the boxes or if you're really good at hand lettering or would like to attempt hand lettering, you could do some really nice larger quotes in the boxes provided. Um, for this, I am using a couple different brands of markers. I will list them in the description below. Um, the purple is a Tombow from a pastel set. And then I recently just got some Ecoline brush pens, which are a lot more watery. They are like a watercolor pen. Um, so I'm using that for the green and then I'm using the mild liner for the yellow, which I was honestly really nervous about because um, since Nuna changed their paper, the mild liners are a little bit tricky. They can sometimes bleed through and it, it scares me. I don't worry about ghosting, but completely bleeding through the other side is not something I'm a fan with fan of. So for the most part, I stuck the yellow just in really small spots. Um, on the left hand side, you can see that where I colored in the moon, I didn't really color it in. I just created an outline because I didn't want to take that marker and thoroughly push it into the paper where the ink would bleed through the other side. And then for these headers, I am using the Tombow Foodie Pen. I was going to use a white gel pen, but my white gel pen has been kind of temperamental. And I recently got the Posca white paint, paint pens. Um, but I just, I can't quite figure out how to use them. I don't know. They just don't work for me over marker. It's like they absorb in and then they just bleed whatever color I'm putting them on top of to the back side of the page. So if you have tips, if you use the Posca pens, let me know in the comments because I got a couple of them and I really want to use them. Um, I think they would create a very nice white. I don't know if I just need to let my ink dry or what. Um, and then I added all these lines and in the Nuna I spaced them at two. I figured that was enough space and a couple days has went by and it's not a whole lot of space but it has been enough for this week. I just can't really do any um, extensive journaling. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you guys on Sunday when my February video goes up.